Oh my gosh, sparkly sky, rambitious, delicious, scorpion, 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 I was going to say, oh my god, what, what is that? Okay, Scorpio, hi, welcome to your love, scorpion, scorpion, I don't know. Welcome to your love tarot reading, Scorpio. We are doing a you versus them today, all right, abracadabra. We're going to do you versus them, uh, you and your person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please show me angels of love and goddess Aphrodite, what's happening for my scoop, scoop, and their person. <laughs> Someone's trap, oh my gosh, Scorpio, this is darkness. I know we're, oh my gosh, we are the darkness, but this is darkness. Someone's blaming you for breaking their heart, okay, straight up. They're real, blaming you for, for breaking their heart. Eight of Swords, they feel trapped in the memories of the connection. They feel trapped in, the, almost like in you, in your energy. You may be feeling their energy on you as well. Something could have ended almost like August last year, in the last eight uh, hours, days, weeks, in the eighth month, something like that. The number eight is important. It's also your Scorpionic energy. This person is all about the Scorpio. They see and hear nothing but you. They can't eat. They can't sleep. They've not been in a good space. But though, someone also could be having some health issues. I think it's your person. Maybe you're not aware of this. Uh, they do feel guilty because they did you a dirty. All right, they did you a bit though. My Scorpiona, Scorpio, Scorpio wheel. I don't know what <laughs> what new words that mommy's coming up with today. Uh, nine of Swords. They did you a boo-boo. They caused you a lot of trouble. They caused you a lot of pain and they know it. And now, like, you know, maybe in the moment, this person, you know, because we're assuming rift, separation, you know, in these Uber system readings, maybe in the moment your person was did, did not have a lot of remorse, but over time, it's come to haunt them and they've come to realize, you know, not saying it's a reformed douche flute, but you know how it goes. They have come to realize everything that they did and they feel like they are experiencing for every little thing they did to you, they're experiencing karma for it, like every single thing. And they feel like they deserve even more. Oh, so sad. You know, Scorpio, we are people's karma, you know, because your mommy is a Scorpio too, as some of you know, most of you know. Let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. And also, Scorpio, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. I love you. I appreciate you. I see my baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm. This is a Scorpio safe space. You know how it goes. Everybody else is an amateur. Scorpio has a different kind of lifestyle. <laughs> Higher vibrational, but also we do end up, you know, be, being people's karma. So we get a lot of these readings, baby. <clears throat> oh, and Scorpio, quick note on the tarot pricing. Just a quick reminder, July, come July, prices are going up. I'm going to not do it on the first we're gonna wait till like the second or third uh but prices will be going up i haven't raised my prices in two years uh, since i started the channel it is time to upgrade the energy and to meet inflation <laughs> to some extent because you know you know how it goes with bill uh so um i'm upgrading the energies let's all uh you know let's all manifest success let's all manifest wealth for one another but if you want to get the old pricing now is the time to book book your readings now old pricing is in the description box below to Inf inf information on how to book your reading um, and also Scorpio I've decided I'm going to let people lock down the prices as well so as long as you book before like the second or third of July you can book uh, up to three readings based on the old pricing so old pricing will apply and the readings are with you for life so you can use it whenever you want in your lifetime I'll have like a little magic book <laughs> of you boo-boos and you know as long as I'm around on this planet you will have your reading you can book any reading hour reading half an hour reading 10 minute whatever um, up to three and you will lock down your price uh, and I'll probably d do it from the other side as well if you need me because <laughs> you know your mommy so uh, there you go boo, boo I do appreciate that you know I try and keep the tarot as accessible as possible and I try not to have scary prices but you know how it goes so, but if you do want to lock down the price you can still do that boo, -boo. All right. Oh, and check out the community tab. I'll have more details on it and kind of like an explanation. Am I explaining this right? Are people going to know what I'm even talking about? All right. Um, Eight of Pentacles. Your person. What are they trying to do? They were trying to, they were trying to, I can't even speak. Like I'm speechless. They were trying to do something, do something to you. Like 
work you out, play with your mind. They're trying to do something here, but they couldn't quite do it because the Scorpio is the emperor here. See, emperor is anyone between you are the eagle. And the emperor is represented by the eagle. You are the eagle, Scorpio. You saw right through this person. They were working so hard at you. They were trying to figure you out. If it was a mimbo himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on the Tuesday, someone who came in, like with the, the project for this douche flute was figure you out, figure you out, and get what they want. There is some deception involved. The high priestess at the bottom of the clarification deck. What was this about? They were working you. Six of swords. Ooh, yeah. You know, Scorpio, you went into this connection. If it was new, you were like, I just want to have a little bit of fun. You have cups. And who knows where it might go. And this person came in. Very heavy energy. Like, I want something stable. I want a relationship with a capital R. But they weren't being honest. They didn't. They they were gonna do. They were gonna do a run. Six of Swords. It's one of those energies where the person comes in. They they were like, I want a relationship with capital R with the eagle. And the eagle was like, Well, I just want to have a little bit of fun. And they persuaded you over time. Maybe it was like even like two or three dates or something like that. Like it didn't have to be a long interaction. They persuaded you over time that they wanted something more stable. They wanted like a relationship. You're like, Well, maybe since. You know, the Scorpio thought, since this person likes me so much, like, why not? But then you saw they were playing games, trying to work you out, trying to work you, withdrawing their energy a little bit. And that caused you this distress, Nine of Swords. But it's interesting, Scorpio, because this person actually thinks they broke your heart more than they really did, which is funny. Because <laughs> that's, that's probably always the energy for a Scorpio. You know, people never really know what we're thinking and feeling. None of your business, Crosswatcher. No, I'm just kidding. These energies can switch, Crosswatcher. Don't worry. <clears throat> If it was a more established connection and you know they did they did that you know they you know tried to like dupe you by the way you know if it was like a, a new connection but Scorpio you felt something you know you were always like I don't know about this person and you know so this is someone who worked you then either ghosted or changed their mind that kind of a thing and you know they think they broke your heart but really they broke their own heart actually your last reading was a little bit like that too um, if it was a more established connection again you know somebody was trying to work at you they, somebody was a little bit jealous, Scorpio, because you're, um, like, let's say you had, you're in a marriage, right? You were trying to celebrate the marriage, you know? I think you're coming up really scrumptious. You wanted to build an empire together, you know? You wanted that big ring. You wanted that commitment. You wanted everything. And this person was, like, always kind of, like, working at you, kind of trying to pull the, pull you down to their level. They also didn't like that your social life is either like very rich or people really like you. They were very jealous of your beauty, handsomeness, scrumptiousness. You know, I see that very clearly here. And there was a power struggle. Both people wanted to be the emperor, but they can only be one. <gasps> mm. And somebody here felt like they couldn't work, work on you. They couldn't win. They didn't have the power. You have more power, Scorpio. And they moved on from the connection. You know, someone moved on from it, whether it was like a partnership, dating situation, marriage. They moved on because they could not work you. They couldn't bring you down to their level. And also, Scorpio wanted to be celebrated and worshipped, and this person didn't want to worship because it's a peasant. This peasant doesn't know how to worship. And now they're in the Eight of Swords, regret and missing you. And now they see how they didn't appreciate you in this situation, how much Scorpio gave them, how scrumptious and amazing and phenomenal you are, baby. And now they're like, how could I have done this to my gem of a Scorpio, my diamond, my scrumptiousness, my ruby and sapphire, the hermit. They feel so lonely. They want to end the loneliness. This is someone who's picking up the phone, writing a message and not sending it. Six of Pentacles, you're coming in to apologize. You're coming in to apologize. I mean, it's the final days of June. Maybe it's still going to be in June, baby. Six of Pentacles could still be in June. Three of Swords. Long-term energy. I mean, yes, but the advice here for you, Scorpio, is like, this person caused you a lot of heartbreak. Are they able to fix it? Because I think they really got under your skin. You would need to, like, really decide to forgive this person. King of Cups here. Their love can still happen here, but you'd have to really forgive and really, you know, ask yourself, Scorpio, is this peasant worth it even? You know, they got their chance. Like, how many gifts will it take? How many rings? How many diamonds? You know, how, how many carats of gold will it take to buy back the Scorpio? Um, you can't buy the Scorpio, by the way, so I don't know. 
but they're coming. Also, Ava wand here. So they're coming. So they're coming this summer. They're coming this summer to apologize. To get on their, they're gonna get on their knees and kiss your feet, baby. But is it too late for the foot? Foot fetish. Okay. Shh. Okay. I'm gonna go because this is getting out of hand. Scorpio, I love you, baby. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and like the video because that really helps me out. I'll see you next time. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm.